Hi folks and welcome to Latin Academy High School. We're in the second quarter of this matchup between two neighborhood rivals, the Tech Boston Bears and the Latin Academy Dragons. Folks, we apologize for the uh, delay here in the coverage. It's actually halftime here at this game. Latin Academy on top 35 to 25 over the Tech Boston Bears. So we'll see if we can get that score up for you in a minute. Once again, Latin Academy 35, Tech Boston 25. We're just about ready to start the second quarter here from Latin Academy High School. Tech Boston in the all red uniforms with the black trim. Latin Academy in the all yellow uniforms with the black trim as well. First game of the season for both these teams as, of course, this is a COVID-19 pandemic shortened season. This is the first night of BPS basketball in the city. And I think I speak for everyone when I say we're glad to see this after the last year we've had. And it's good to see these high school athletes back on the court. Glad we can do this uh, with all the health and safety protocols in place. You see all the players wearing masks and the referees and coaches wearing masks as well. Everybody being safe at the Latin Academy gym. We're doing this remotely. We have one camera in the gym. Everybody else back at the Boston City TV studios. So. Uh, very much a remote production. We're just going to have one camera tonight, but we're getting the game to you as best we can, folks. Thank you very much for all your patience throughout this entire broadcast. So as we mentioned, 35-25 Latin Academy on top. Dorchester was actually up 21-11 to after the first quarter. They came out smoking, but then Latin Academy came charging right back to take a 10-point lead. So... Not a lot of offense to start this third quarter. Tech Boston mostly with the basketball. They're now trapped at the top of the key, and that's going to go back to the Latin Academy Dragons. Latin Academy returning a lot of their top players from a season ago. Most of them seniors now, including the man with the basketball, Mason Lawson. He kicks it over the corner. Abdullahi Aiden short on the three. Osasu Wogarin with the rebound, but it's thrown away by Tech Boston. It's Elijah Clooney coming away with the steal. Clooney now with it at the top of the key. Nice drive to the rim that time for Tech Boston and getting fouled on his way to the hoop was one of the Tech Boston Bears. He's now slow to get up. And we'll head to the free throw line. Like I said before, Latin Academy bringing several seniors back, but Tech Boston graduated all of their senior starters, so they're starting fresh this season. Is that's the Kari Brown now at the free throw line for the Bears? So he knocks down the first free throw. I believe they ruled that as a flagrant foul for that first free throw. I'm sorry, that's a new, actually a new COVID protocol. I believe on the first free throw, they don't put anybody at the free at the. Uh, at the line there to rebound, and now just three players there on the second free throw. So Brown knocks down both. It's 35 26, or 27 rather. Latin Academy on top by eight after the two free throws from Dakari Brown. Dakari, really one of the few players from Tech Boston who returns from last season after getting a lot of time in 2020. That's going to be a traveling violation on Mason Lawson, so that'll go back to the Dragons or rather back to the Tech Boston Bears after the turnover. At Academy playing man-to-man -man defense. That's a three ball on the way around the rim and out. Abdullahi Aiden, excuse me, Muhammad Ali coming away with a rebound. The Latin Academy Dragons. Now it's Lawson looking for an opening. Down Santos. Kicks it over to Aiden. Abdullahi inside the paint. Runner no good. Looks like we get a foul on the floor on Tech Boston. So Latin Academy will take its side out of bounds. These two teams played each other three times last season, both with close games in the regular season. Latin Academy 
beating the Tech Boston Bears in the second matchup in an overtime game. Mason Lawson actually hit a three-point shot at the buzzer to put it into overtime here at Latin Academy High School in their second matchup of the regular season. First matchup, Tech Boston won in their gym in a close matchup, and then they played it once again the third time in the Boston City Championship, and the Tech Boston Bears won easily 63-47. to So these two seem very familiar with each other coming in. But as we mentioned, Brent, pretty much a brand new team for Tech Boston besides just a handful of players. They're going to foul on the interior by Latin Academy. So Tech Boston will hang on to the basketball. 35-27, Latin Academy Dragons on top here midway through the third quarter. Unfortunately, we don't have a clock for you on our scoreboard. We have limited cameras in the gym, as you can imagine, with the COVID protocols. But we'll do our best to give you all the updates on what's going on. Mason Lawson off the steal, going all the way to the rim. And now it's Aiden, or rather Muhammad Ali, who's tried to get that rebound. It's a tie up and we got a jump ball that will go back to Tech Boston. I'm sorry, that'll stay with Latin Academy. I think another thing you'll notice, folks, because of COVID protocols, players do not have inbound passes from underneath the hoop. I'm trying to limit a lot of face-to-face uh, -face action as much as they can throughout these basketball games. So no under the hoop, out of bounds places. Lawson goes all the way to the rim. Couldn't score off the window. Shapiro got the rebound but couldn't finish. And now Dakari Brown comes away with it for the Tech Boston Bears. That's Elijah Clooney coming back down the other end. Tech Boston loses it out of bounds. That'll go back to the Dragons after that turnover. Looks like we got a timeout here midway through the third quarter. Latin Academy on top, 35-27. And so far, this third quarter has been kind of ugly. Not, some great, not too much great offense going on so far. It looks like Latin Academy, and they haven't even scored a point yet here in the, in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Tech Boston, just a couple of free throws so far in this third quarter. So both teams not able to execute offensively. And of course, it's the first game with these new COVID protocols. There's nobody in the stands. Uh, you know, you're starting the season about midway through, uh, towards the end of January rather. So it's, it's certainly a, a weird start to the season for both these teams, just like everything else that we've seen over the past year. Everything's a little different for everybody. So I'm sure it'll take time for these teams to get used to these different adjustments and different kinds of rules and protocols that are in place for these games. So I think we're gonna see this throughout the season where there's times where some of these players just have a tough time getting used to everything. So out of the timeout, I believe it's Latin Academy who has the basketball. Yep, Mason Lawson bringing it up for the Dragons. Mason was one of the best players on Latin Academy a season ago. Abdullahi Aiden short on the three, rebound. Comes down to Dakari Brown. Tech Boston Bears now back down the other end. That's Buko. Now back up to Buko, top of the key. Clooney to the corner off the up fake. Clooney tries a floater, can't get it to go, but he does get fouled. I'm sorry, that's a traveling violation on Clooney, so that'll go back to Latin Academy. I know we're all used to wearing masks, but I think it's sort of also tough for these players to play the game of basketball with a mask on. It's got to be difficult. I'm sure they've been practicing with them on, but certainly a completely different feeling when you're actually playing a game with a mask on. But they all got to do it. It's, the protocols across the state where every player has to wear a mask at a game to keep these players, coaches, and referees safe. Abdullahi Aiden gets bumped on the perimeter. I think that was a turnover by Latin Academy. It looked like possible traveling or double dribble violation. Three ball on the way from the corner from Clooney. Well off the mark, here comes Santos off the rebound. Which, uh, sorry, that's Benny Martinez. Martinez off the feed from Shapiro, kicks it to the corner. Muhammad Ali unable to hit the three. Martinez is able to come away with the rebound. Martinez, now it's back to Lawson. Latin Academy gonna reset after getting the offensive rebound. 
Austin looking for an opening inside to the big fellow Shapiro, who scores off the window. Latin Academy's first field goal of the third quarter gives them a 10-point lead, 37-27. Backdoor cut that time for the uh, for Dorchester uh, Tech Boston. Excuse me. It's going to be a foul on Latin Academy. I believe it was on the floor. So that'll be a side out of bounds. It's going to be two free throws. So Jamal Bogue now at the. Uh, no, it will be a side out of bounds for Tech Boston. Pass to the corner that time for the Bears. Three ball on the way. That one around the rim and out. Shapiro comes down with a rebound for Latin Academy. Abdullahi Aiden. He is a sharpshooter. This time he tries to score off the window. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Clooney. Clooney now trying to jump start the fast break for Tech Boston. He gets fouled at the top of the key by Benny Martinez. So side out of bounds for Tech Boston. Stolen away that time by Lawson. Mason Lawson with a two on one, gonna take it himself and score off the window for Latin Academy. Puts the Dragons up by 12 here late in the third quarter. Three ball on the way for Tech Boston. That's good by the Tech Boston Bears. Cuts the lead back down to nine here in the third quarter. That three ball was from Jamal Bogue. Bogue no trying for the steal. Aiden. And I believe they got Aiden with a double dribble on that play, so that'll go back to the Bears. You know, Tech Boston doesn't have any of their starters from a season ago. Like I mentioned, Takari Brown played a decent amount last year off the bench. So did Elijah Clooney, but most of the other players on this team are either brand new as transfers or some freshmen and just some players who didn't play a lot of varsity basketball. They're hanging tough against a good Latin Academy team. Aiden for three, buries that one. He's one of the best three-point shooters in the city. You see it there as Abdullahi Aiden brings the Latin Academy lead back up to 12. Good swing of the basketball that time. Clooney now with the cross court pass off the up fake. Well, we got another double dribble on the Tech Boston Bears. So that'll go back to Latin Academy. Aiden on the drive, scores off the window for the Dragons. So Abdullahi Aiden with five quick points, extends Latin Academy's lead to 14 here in the third quarter. That one goes out of bounds, and that'll stay with the Dragons. I think if he asked anybody who knew the Boston City League coming into this season, the top teams that people would predict would be there, maybe the city championship or possibly head to what's going to be an abbreviated state tournament as well. You'd think that Latin Academy bringing all these players back along with Jeremiah Burke, the defending Division Three state champs, would be the top two favorites coming into this one. So now at the free throw line, Dakari Brown for Tech Boston. Knocks down the first. Dakari definitely somebody who can bring some experience to this Tech Boston team. He was actually at New Mission as a freshman, was a very good player, transferred as a junior last year to Tech Boston, was on their city championship team a year ago, and now a senior for this Tech Boston Bears team. Abdullahi Aiden looking for an opening. Got a screen this time from Mulgarin. Pass is poked away. 
Now it's Benny Martinez on the drive, gets bumped towards the basket, and I believe he's going to get two free throws. So Martinez knocks down the first, and that's, you see that new COVID protocol, the player has two free throws, nobody goes to the sidelines there for, or to the free throw lanes there for that first one because there's no need, nobody's gonna try to get a rebound. Now in the second one, you're only allowed three players, two from the defending team and one from the offensive team. So Benny Martinez knocks down both that time, 14 point lead for Latin Academy here late in the third quarter. Dragon, uh, Bears try for a drive inside. Brown gets it to go that time. Gets the floater off the soft rims there at Latin Academy High. Back to a 12-point lead here for the Dragons as they feed Osasu Wolgarin inside. The big fella scoring off the backboard that time. Brings it back to a 14-point lead. He was essential against Tech Boston a, a year ago as one of the players with all of his size that could really be effective against what's usually a, a little bit smaller Tech Boston Bears team over the years. Booney almost gets it stolen away. Good swing that time. Corner three from Bogue is good. Bogue knocks down the three from the corner, and I believe that's the end of the third here at Latin Academy High School. The Dragons on top, 48-37 over the Tech Boston Bears. So pretty good start to the, or rather end to the third quarter. Things were a little ugly to begin the third, but towards the end of the third, folks, uh, really nice job by both teams uh, in this one. As you see, we're at Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for our first game during the sort of COVID shortened season of the BPS high school basketball season. Folks, if you want to follow us on Facebook and check out this game again, you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash game of the week Boston. We got a lot of great stuff up there, including what games we're going to be covering as the season continues and also some links to the games that you can watch again. You can also watch the games again if you go to our website, boston.gov slash cable. Once you get to that page, scroll down to the bottom. There's a game of the week section. You click on that. You go right to our video library and all the game of the week games are also on that website as well so a lot of good stuff that you can check out even after the game is played because we always try to put the games in our archives for you to watch again and again or if you missed it you can go back and watch it the day after the weekend after so a lot of good stuff there that you can check out just about ready to start the fourth quarter here on game of the week between the latin academy dragons and the tech boston bears latin academy on top, 48-37 as we start the fourth quarter. Big time three from the corner last time by Bogue. The Tech Boston to get it down to 11. It was a 14-point lead. Eight and three was blocked initially. Benny Martinez, second put back, no good. Rebound inside from Clooney, and he comes out on the break with the basketball. Clooney. Corner three this time from Tech Boston. Getting the hoop that time for the Bears. It looked like Yusuf Buko for the Tech Boston Bears. Knocking it down from the corner. It cuts the Latin Academy lead down to eight here at the opening minutes of the fourth quarter. Aiden now with an open three. Top of the key, that time no good. Fight for the loose ball and Clooney comes away with it for Tech Boston. Quickly back down the other end, the Bears go. Then they lose the basketball. Mason Lawson comes away with it. That's going to be a jump ball. And I believe that stays with the Tech Boston Bears. Excellent hustle that time for Mason Lawson, who's never shy to create or initiate contact. Only looking inside to Brown. Dakari, beautiful spin move. Gets blocked inside by Will Guerin. Loose ball picked up by Lawson. Quickly up the floor, he goes to Aiden. Aiden down the other end, gets blocked initially. And I think they're gonna call that a stuff on the inside. And then the second time it was a foul. So Aiden's gonna have to take it side out of bounds. Second 
As we mentioned before, no out-of-bounds plays from underneath the basket thanks to the COVID protocols that all these teams have to abide by throughout the season. Aiden gets tied up trying to make his way to the basket. And I believe we got another jump ball. I go back to Tech Boston. So still an eight-point lead here for Latin Academy about midway through the fourth quarter. As you mentioned, these two teams faced off three times just a year ago, twice during the regular season and once in the city championship. Tech Boston winning two out of those three. That looked like a moving screen at the top of the key that time by the Tech Boston Bears. So this one's going to have to go back to Latin Academy. As teams try to get some subs in here midway through the fourth quarter. I want to thank you, everyone, for joining us. We're very happy we could bring you this broadcast of this game. Despite all the COVID protocols that we need to abide by, it's not the same type of production we normally have, but we're at least happy we can get this game to you. We know that fans are not allowed at these games, so if we can get you at least to some of these games through the magical T television, the magic of television, then we'll try to do it. As Clooney, off the spin move, gets fouled on his way to the basket. Benny Martinez commits the foul, and then it's called for a technical foul. Not sure if they called that a flagrant or if Benny said something after the foul. But that was a technical foul on Benny Martinez. So Clooney's going to get two free throws and the ball back for Tech Boston. And he's unable to hit the first. Elijah Clooney, just a junior for the Tech Boston Bears knocks down the second free throw. So they did call a second technical after the initial foul. So Clooney was fouled on his way to the basket. That's what those two free throws for. Then Benny Martinez got a whistle for another, for a technical foul. So Dakari Brown now at the free throw line is not able to hit the first. Brown will get one more, and then Tech Boston will get the ball back after the second free throw. Brown hits the second. So it's now down to a six-point game here in the fourth quarter. That's a big possession there for Tech Boston. They did miss two free throws, but they get two free throws and the ball back and the clock stops, so that always helps when you're down late in the game. Short jumper that time, follow up no good e that time either by Buko, but Tech Boston hangs on to the basketball. Clooney gets to the corner. Dakari Brown now fires up a three and buries it. Dakari Brown, nothing from net from the corner and cuts the Latin Academy lead down to three. I mentioned De Tech Boston graduated a ton of good players, but these players who are starting for them now Really playing hard for their coach, Johnny Williams, who always has a good system in place. They always play tough defense. They're never out of any game, and you see that here tonight. Latin Academy, now trying to look for an opening. Aiden, off balance three, and do we have a foul at the top of the key, I believe. And Latin Academy will get it side out of bounds. Dragons' last couple of trips down the floor weren't really getting what they wanted offensively. Tech Boston's defense has been pretty ferocious so far. Aiden closely guarded by Jamal Bogg. Aiden now off the window, scores for Latin Academy. Abdullahi Aiden, one of the best scorers in the city, brings it back to a five-point lead for the Dragons here in the fourth quarter. Corner three, that one off the mark that time by Jamal Bogue. He was open, he's hit a couple of threes already, but that time was unable to connect. Bogue trying for the steal, Mason Lawson gets tripped up, and both players heading to the corner. Ball still in play, Bogue to the basket, 
And that shot's blocked out of bounds. Now we got two players down on the floor. And it looks like they're going to be okay. Mason Lawson a little slow to get up. It looks like Latin Academy calls a timeout here in the fourth quarter. Hanging on to a five-point lead here in the opening game of the 2021 BPS High School basketball season. Latin Academy 50, Tech Boston 45. Gl glad to bring this broadcast to you folks. We're doing a lot of this remotely, including myself. I'm back at the Boston City TV studios while we have our ace cameraman, Shavarsh Morrissey, at Latin Academy High School. Uh, filming this game. We appreciate Shavarsh taking the trip out there. We had some te technical difficulties in the first half, folks, so we apologize for that. We were, were able to get things going in the second half thanks to um, our ace engineer, Dennis Dutra, our engineers, uh, Kurji Germain, and also our station manager, David Burton, and also our director, Ethan Vara, who's doing a fantastic job keeping up with the score and the graphics for us. So all those guys really did a great job to get this broadcast to you. So we really appreciate all the work they've been doing throughout the night. Latin Academy out of the timeout on top 50 to 45. Tech Boston with the basketball. I do want to mention while we have the time, folks, we're going to try to bring a BPS high school game to you every Friday night leading up to the city championships, which I believe are on Saturday, February 27th. So we'll have about four regular season games to send out and let you watch and stream, both online and on our channel, Boston City TV. So make sure you tune in throughout the season. And that's correct. The city championships are going to be on Saturday, February 27th. Boys and girls city championships will be in separate locations to try to limit the amount of people who are in a gym at once, obviously because of, of uh, the COVID pandemic. But like I mentioned, tonight, February, Friday, February 5th, Friday, February 12th, and Friday, February 19th, we are going to also try to bring you broadcasts of three other basketball games, one each of those nights, uh, to try to get you to take a look at some of these games. As we mentioned, no fans are allowed at these games because of COVID-19 protocols. So this is the best way we can bring these games to you. You can't go to the games. We're going to try to bring them to you throughout this 2021 BPS high school basketball season. Not exactly sure what they're looking at in the gym right now. Sometimes it's the clock, sometimes it's the score, sometimes it's the number of fouls for either each team or each player. And we also have folks who are working the scoreboard who are also wearing masks and doing everything according to the um, COVID-19 protocol, so we appreciate those folks working in the gym tonight as well, along with the referees, the coaches, and of course, we love seeing the players finally back on the basketball court. Turnover that time from Tech Boston as Mason Lawson was able to come away with the steal. Lawson, corner three from Muhammad Ali, he's unable to knock it down. Dakari Brown comes away with the loose ball. Brown all the way to the bucket, and he gets fouled on the floor. So that'll be a side out of bounds for the Tech Boston Bears. I know they do call the foul in the act of shooting, so they change the call. So Dakari Brown now going to head to the free throw line to shoot two. unable to hit the first. That hit every part of the rim except for the part where you have to put it in. Brown will get one more. As we mentioned before, Dakari Brown wasn't a starter last year for Tech Boston. We got a lot of playing time. One of the few still on this Tech Boston Bears team this season, but so far Tech Boston has played very well for a team that hasn't been together very long. Meanwhile, a lot of the players on Latin Academy who are out on the floor right now are either seniors or juniors who have gotten a lot of playing time over the past two seasons. Muhammad Ali going towards the basket, short on the layup, uh, but he, they whistled Tech Boston for a foul, so Ali will head to the free throw line. So Muhammad Ali will shoot two free throws for Latin Academy. 
as they try to hang on to a four-point lead. Ali knocks down the first. Ali, very good player for Latin Academy as well. They really have five players that could have been probably all-stars a season ago. They might have the same situation this year. Ali was one of them. He was probably their best all-around player a season ago. Him and Mason Lawson, you also see in the screen as Ali knocks down both free throws for Latin Academy. So back to a six-point lead for the Dragons here in the fourth quarter. That ball knocked away from Dakari Brown, but it'll stay with the Tech Boston Bears. You see Latin Academy seems to have turned up their defensive pressure here midway through the fourth quarter. Swing this time from the Tech Boston Bears. Looking for an opening on this 2-1-2 two, two, two defense from Latin Academy. Nice block inside that time by Mason Lawson. They're gonna call a jump ball. That's gonna go back to Latin Academy. So Lawson able to get that stuff. Six point lead here for Latin Academy. Aiden couldn't find an opening, now at the top of the key. Dragon's gonna have to reset. Santos back to Muhammad Ali, open three. Off the back guy and rebound from Wolgarin. Osasu off the spin move. Ali for the putback. Latin Academy crashing the offensive boards. They're able to get, extend their lead to eight. Now they come away with a steal. Santos able to come away with it. Now it's Aiden off the turnover. Had Wolgarin down low, but now Mason Lawson going to pull it back out for the Dragons. Santos off the up fake. Corner three from Ali. Short that time. Rebound comes down to Jamal Bo. Off the up fake. Clooney inside the paint. Couldn't score that time with the short jumper. Latin Academy trying to build on their eight-point lead. Santos, a little wild drive that time from Tiano Santos, the senior. Now back down the other end. That layup no good from Tech Boston. Abdullahi Aiden with the rebound. Aiden on the drive. Scores off the window. Pretty move that time from Abdullahi Aiden. And that puts Latin Academy up by 10 here late in the fourth quarter. Good kick to the corner. Clooney, corner three. Nothing but nylon that time from Elijah Clooney. And that brings the Tech Boston Bears back within seven. And Tech Boston going to take a timeout. Latin Academy with a seven point lead here late in the fourth quarter. Dragons trying to hang on to this lead towards the end of the game. As we mentioned, Tech Boston actually started off the game with a nice run where they actually were up at the end of the first. Tech Boston was up 21 to 11. Now with a minute 40 left to go in the game, Dragons hanging on to the seven point lead. And if Coach Bunk, if I'm Coach Bunker, certainly if they can come away with a win here, Latin Academy will be happy with their performance, but also there's probably some things they can work on, especially just this being the first game of the season. Of course, we're at Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for this matchup between two neighborhood rivals, the Tech Boston Bears and the Latin Academy Dragons, two very good teams from a season ago. Also, folks, if you want to follow us on social media, you can certainly go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash game of the week, Boston. A lot of great stuff up on that site, including links to the game, updates about what games we're going to be covering, a lot of other great stuff as well. Make sure you go to Facebook. Make sure you like us on Facebook. We'll also be putting up our YouTube links up there as well for all the games that you can watch live. You can also watch our games after the fact on our website, boston.gov slash cable. Go to that site, scroll down to the game of the week section, Click on that and go straight to our video archive. 
A minute and a half left in this one. Seven point lead for Latin Academy. Feed it inside to Shapiro. He tries a hook shot. Shot falls, but they're gonna call a double dribble on Ben Shapiro. Tech Boston has been successful shooting the three tonight, so they certainly have plenty of time left to get back into this one. Kari Brown kicks it to the corner. Nice pass inside. Beautiful feed to the cutting Yusuf Buka. Or Buko, rather, excuse me, Yusuf. And Tech Boston looks like they're going to take a timeout here. Latin Academy with a five point lead with just over a minute left to go in the ball game. And Tech Boston hanging tough. As I mentioned, Latin Academy bringing a lot of players back from a season ago. We've got a lot of playing time for the last couple of seasons. Meanwhile, for the Tech Boston Bears, they graduated, I believe, all five of their starting seniors from a year ago that won the city championship. So they've, they're losing a lot of talent, a lot of senior leadership, but they're bringing back a couple of guys like uh, Dakari Brown and Elijah Clooney, who got some time last year. They've been the leader so far tonight, along with some new faces, including Jamal Bogue, who's knocked down several threes, created some turnovers, and also some, a couple other players who have really contributed to this Tech Boston team. So despite all the seniors that they lost from a year ago, this Tech Boston team is going to be a very competitive squad throughout this shortened season. As I praise Bogue, he commits a foul in the backcourt. And I believe that's not seven fouls just yet. Latin Academy not in the bonus at the moment, so that's going to be a side out of bounds for the Dragons. Lawson now with it for Latin Academy. Lawson couldn't find an opening, kicks it to the corner. Muhammad Ali on the drive. They originally called that a clean block, and now I believe they're calling it an offensive foul. No, they do call the foul on Tech Boston. So on the drive, Muhammad Ali gets fouled on his way to the rim. He's going to get two free throws for Latin Academy. Knocks down the first. He was two for two in his last trip. Hits the first on this trip. He'll get one more. He can make this a three possession game if he knocks down the second. And he does. So Muhammad Ali, two for two from the free throw line once again. Extends the lead to seven here late in the fourth quarter. Ball gets stripped away that time from Yusuf Buko. And that jump ball is going to stay with Tech Boston. Nice drive that time by Dakari Brown, but he couldn't finish around the rim. Lawson with the rebound for Latin Academy. Tech Boston's going to have to foul. They're going to save some clock here and try to come away with a few possessions towards the end of the game. But right now, Aiden just playing keep away from the Tech Boston Bears. Aiden kicks it to the corner. Ali, corner three, short that time. Shapiro comes away with the rebound, kicks it back out smartly for Latin Academy. Tech Boston's got to foul. I'm surprised they haven't tried to foul yet at this point with it being a three possession game now. Lawson now going to try to hang on to the basketball and dribble it out. And that is going to do it here for Latin Academy High School as the Dragons are able to hang on and defeat the Tech Boston Bears 58 to 51. Here you see the final score from Latin Academy High School. And excellent game from both teams. As we mentioned, Latin Academy coming in as a favorite. Meanwhile, Tech Boston losing a lot of talent, but they're showing tonight why the Tech Boston Bears have been so successful over the last few years as they are able to hang tough with one of the better teams in the city, Latin Academy. Your final score from Latin Academy High School.
58 to 51. So just a nice performance there from both teams. As I mentioned, Latin Academy able to hang on to when you saw a lot of senior leadership and a lot of experience from some of their players towards the end of the game. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali was probably their best scorer down the stretch. You also saw Abdullahi Aden come up with some big baskets and control the ball towards the end of the game. I think also Coach Bunker would say they do have some things to work on if they want to get to the city championship once again this season. But a good performance by both teams in their first game during this COVID-shortened season. As I mentioned, it's about four weeks of the regular season, so a lot of games, these games are going to matter. I believe they're going to have about eight games of the regular season before they get to the city championship. So 1-0 start for Latin Academy, 0-1 start for Tech Boston. But like I said before, I think this Tech Boston team uh, certainly – put forth a really good effort tonight despite all everything that they lost from a year ago. And you know Johnny Williams is going to have those players ready to go, playing defense, creating turnovers, picking up the pace. And we saw that a lot tonight. I think Tech Boston is going to have a lot of wins this season despite the changeover and all their players from a year ago. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here on Game of the Week. If you want to follow us on social media, you can go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash Game of the Week Boston. A lot of good stuff up on that site, including links to games, updates on which games we're going to be covering. A lot of good stuff up on there, so make sure you like us on Facebook. You can also go to our website at boston.gov slash cable. You go to that page, you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, there's a Game of the Week section. You can click on it, it brings you right to our video archive, our video library, and you can find games from last season. We're going to get games up from this season, and you can check out all those games throughout the season and from a year ago. Uh, so also a place that you can watch some of your favorite BPF athletes compete on the basketball court, and we have football games from uh, 2019 and before. So once again, folks, thanks for tuning in tonight. Sorry we had the technical difficulties in the first half but we appreciate you joining us throughout our broadcast. We'll see you next time on Game of the Week, everybody. Have a good night.